Hi there, I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey and today we're going to go through a manual walk forward test and I'm going to compare it to a multi-walk walk forward test. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you haven't signed up for my free algo strategy, now's the time to do so. Hit the QR code or enter the link you see at the bottom or in the description you'll find a link. Sign up, you'll get this free algo and lots of other great information. Okay, so today I'm going to run through a manual walk forward so you kind of understand what walk forward is and how it goes into a final strategy and everything associated with it. We'll do a really short example. And I'm also going to time how long it takes me to do it because then I'm going to compare it to multi-walk. Multi-walk software only works with TradeStation. It's only available to students of my class, but it really improves the amount of time. And by that I mean it is so much faster than doing a manual walk forward. So manual walk forward is a great way to learn the process and to learn what walk forward is and how it works. But eventually you want to do it fast because there's no reason to go through all this manual stuff that I'll show you in a second. And multi-walk helps you do that. So we're going to do both of those things today. So kind of let's get to it and let's see what happens. Okay, so first, let's take a look at our strategy. And we're going to use this with for the manual. And it's going to be the same strategy that we'll use with multi-walk. Uh, there'll be a little bit different formatting. But I have two variables or two inputs that I'm going to be optimizing. The look back period and a stop loss dollar amount. And you can see what I'm the entries. If the close is greater than the close of look back bars ago, then you buy. So the momentum's up, you buy. If the reverse happens, then you sell short. Pretty simple. And then instead of a normal stop loss that works during a bar, I'm going to do what I call a closing price stop loss. And what that'll do is at the close of every bar, it will look at the open position profit of the position you're currently in. And if it's below minus, in this case, thousand dollars but it would be minus stop L then you're gonna exit either the long or the short at the mark opening of the next market so this would be a good type of stop loss if you work full-time for example and you don't necessarily want to check the markets much during the day your order would only be triggered at the next open if you were using daily bars or 14 40 minute bars for example so you might want to do that then down at the bottom i also have some code just to close out that last trade just to help in compiling the statistics when i do the optimization so this is my strategy i'm going to optimize it and run it so if we go back to our chart uh, we're going to run a test first of two years from 2021 to the end of 2022 with ES 1440 minute that's basically almost like daily bars it's a little bit different I'll drag this over apologize for that is to do this kind of walk manual walk forward test where the first test I'm going to run is 2021 2022 I get the best set of parameters and I'll set those aside and they will be used in out of sample one period evaluation and you'll see how I do this in a little bit then I'll go and run in sample two get the best set of parameters run it in out of sample two and then I'll run in sample three and we'll use that for 2025 so you can see each time I'm doing a two-year optimization and then those results those best case optimization parameters will be run on 2023 2024 2025 well if you'd like more information on algo trading hit the QR code it'll take you to Amazon where you can look at my five trading books like I said at first 
we're going to run 2021, 2022. And then we go, I've already uploaded the strategy into this. And so now all I got to do is set up the optimization. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start timing how long it takes me to do this because I want to compare it to what multi-walk can do. So the first thing I do is I optimize from 5 to 20 in steps of 5. I'm going to optimize this stop loss in steps of 250. Hit OK. Hit Optimize. Now it's going to be running the test. And once it's done, I'll stop my little stopwatch that I have off screen. I'll go and look at the results. And if you go down to the strategy optimization report, it's over here. And the best case has a look back of 10 and a stop loss of 2,250. Okay. Then next, I'm going to run 2022 to the end of 2023. So again, that's a two year period. And now I'm going to run this optimization again. And so we start our clock and because this is how you how long it would take if you had to do this manually you have to change all these parameters and run it again and run it again and then once it ends then we'll stop so so far it's taken us 36 seconds to do all this we look at the optimization report and it looks like now 10 in 2750 has come out as the best and then we'll change the data one more time and we'll run that third in sample test where this is going to run till the end of 2024 the parameters will then be used for 2025 so we start our clock again because we're going to optimize and so we set that up we set that up and we run it and we end up stopping the clock there even though I haven't analyzed the results yet at 56 seconds and you can see down here this was the best case 20 and 2000 okay so that's the manual walk forward just with three steps so what we would do here then is I've created a version of the strategy that has certain a certain date range so it says if it's 2023 from January 1st to December 31st use these values which we said were 10 and 22 whoops 2250 and then 2024 those optimization results were 10 and 2750 and then the third one was 20 and 2000 so this strategy I'll show you in a little bit is ready to run the manual results it will give us accurate out of sample results from the walk forward test so and which is exactly what we want one important thing you want to do with the manual one is to have this block of code or the whole block is here but you can see I have the entries and exits in there with a beginning and an end statement and this just says it's not going to take any trades before 2023. Why? Because if you look at when I have the first walk forward block, it starts in 2023. So I want that to be consistent. So let's compare that, which took 56 seconds, to multi walk. So multi walk, the way it's set up is you put the code in a special code box, you put your ranges. So it's the same ranges, same everything that I set up. 
and I'm only going to test it on ES 1440 minute bars. I could add a whole bunch of symbols if I wanted to here. And these are just some of the strategy settings. I'm going to run the test from 2021 till the end of 2024. I'm going to do the same in and out periods for walk forward, which is 504, which is trading days, which is basically two years, and one year out of sample. So it's the same kind of test that I ran previously. I'm going to use a slightly different fitness function just because this is the one I always use. Net profit divided by average drawdown. Be very hard to do this manually. You could do it, but uh, with the manual one, I just ran net profit. And then there's some other options here. Uh, when I'm all done, I create the multi-walk strategy. And what it does is the multi-walk program creates all this strategy which will be copied. So I just select all, copy it, and I'm going to put it into my multi-walk strategy and say select all. So now I have a strategy in TradeStation that can run the walk forward. Now all I have to do, I can just run the test in multi-walk by clicking this button. We'll see how long it takes to do all that testing that took us 56 seconds to do it manually. Here's how long it'll take to run with multi-walk. And it came popped up in a different window where it said it's complete. It took seven seconds. So 56 seconds compared to seven seconds it's a huge time saver and if I would do multiple projects it would work even better so now I can just go and look at the results in multi walk you can do things like call up the equity curve doesn't look so great this isn't a great strategy but I did this really as an example you can also click on it and you get all the code that you can then run in TradeStation so what I'll do here is select this and you can see multi-walk automatically puts values in there. Now they're going to be different likely than a manual method because each, each method a walk forward makes different assumptions and does different calculations. So keep that in mind. Uh, this will be different than the manual method. I paste this into the multi-walk version of the walk forward code. And then I can compare the results of the two. And you can see there's a manual one up top, the multi-walk version down below. They're, they look fairly similar, but they do have some differences because they'll have different parameters. And again, that's because I'm making different assumptions along the way. If we look at the equity curves, you can see the manual one right there and we can see the multi-walk one right there. And they're not a ton different, but they are different. So just keep that in mind. So in this video, we were able to run a manual walk forward, which took 56 seconds. We were able to run a multi-walk walk forward, which took seven seconds. So that gives you some idea of the time savings that you can get by using software to do the walk forward for you. But the manual is important that you understand the process and understand in sample and out of sample. So that's a good way to learn it. That's what I always tell students. You want to learn with that approach. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, hit a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks.